I received an email from a subscriber asking why I didn't use the AND logical operator. And I thought it was a good question, so I thought I'd do a video about why I didn't use the AND logical operator. Now remember, I've used this diagram in the last several videos for the OR logical operator. Well, I've added another column here for the AND logical operator, so we can see the differences between the AND and the OR. Now right away you'll notice that three of these outcomes are false as opposed to the OR logical operator where three of the outcomes are true. And that's because the AND operator needs to have both of these conditions to be true in order for the expression to be true. If just one is false, then the overall expression is false. And we can see that right here in these last three outcomes. So it's very different than the OR operator. And you'll also notice that the first outcome is the same and the last outcome is the same for both the AND and the OR if both are true or both are false. But where things start to get murky are in this middle. This is why we can't use the AND operator. You'll notice that if one of these is true, the outcome is false. And remember, that's gonna be a problem because one of the text boxes was filled out incorrectly. But the expression will be false, and you will remember that if it's false, our code doesn't get executed, and the form will be submitted, and that's not what we want. We want that to be true to stop the user from submitting the form. And, but let's go ahead and we'll walk through this second one just to make sure. And that's another point I want to make. It's always good to test all of these outcomes out with these type of diagrams so that you get the desired outcome that you want. And it actually makes it easier to understand how if statements work when you put all the conditions in a diagram like this. It's much easier to understand if statements. Okay, so let's go ahead and again, and we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this and operator right over here and we'll save this and let's go ahead and submit this thing and let's go ahead and test out again this second outcome and again we're going to be testing the and logical operator so we'll flip back here to the actual javascript code so the first one will be true so we didn't fill it out correctly so we'll just do three characters the second one will be false so we did this one correctly we put in more than five characters and let's go ahead and hit submit and you can see it went right through because again, both of these have to be true in order for this outcome to be true. And so since this was false, again, our form was submitted. So that's why we used the OR operator because we need this to be true since one of these was filled out incorrectly so that it stops the user from submitting this form. So let's go ahead and flip it back and we'll run that outcome again. So we'll save this up again. Let's go ahead and run it. And let's do this again now. So we'll go ahead and put in three characters and we'll put in five or six characters. We hit submit and it stopped us. That's exactly what we wanted. So I hope that clarifies this subject for you. And you can walk through all of these outcomes if you want with both the and logical operator and the or logical operator to see how everything works. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video.